Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can configure the AI car to chase the player. So first of all we have our little scene from the last tutorials. We have from player start and we have our AI that follow the path in calculating by the road itself. So. First of all, we go into a DI car and we need two new variables. In this case, the variable chase, this will be in Boolean. And we need another variable that called player distance. And the player distance will be in float. We need this later. So, we go to our update function where it um, checks if the car is in AI and then calculate the parse. So we have to add something here. We take our chase function, say get, and we need another branch here. We go from the true into the branch, make the condition right here and on false, it goes the normal way, so get path. And on true, we need a new function for this. We can already copy this up here because we will need it. But now we need a new function. So let's create one that just called chasing. And this function, first of all, we need our player distance right here and we will set it. And what we else want to have is we go into details, go to the chasing function and we need an output. This will be the steering. And of course this is in float itself. Like this. We will set it. So what we have to do now is we open up our get path function so it's much easier. And this part here it starts with find look at rotation. We can copy and paste this so it's easier. <clears throat> put it right here, put the return value into the steering. And now we have just set up the start and target points. So let's do this. First of all, we need get back to location. This will be the start point. And what we else have to do is go from return value and say vector minus another vector. And this will be the player distance, but we have to figure that out. So vector length in this case, so that we make a float of it. And the last thing we have to do is go from the return value and say float defeated by another float and defeated by 100. So this will be now in meter or in kilometer, sorry. Uh, no meters, right. So it will be in meter. So now we need the target point and this will be our player because this is our AI car itself. So we need our player. So we say get player pawn and we ask the same thing. So get actor location and this will be our target because he will chase the player and we put this also right here. So the player distance, let's compile and save this, will be the location of the AI minus the um, player location and then will be calculated to the meter and this will be the player distance. So that's the whole function. But we need one thing left. So that's why we have the player distance. So let's go here and we say branch. Put this right here on false. It will be calculate the function and the condition is we take our player distance and say float is bigger than another float. This will be our condition. And we say that's for example 100. So that means 
when the player is 100 meter away, then he stops chasing the player. So he didn't see it anymore. So let's take our chase boolean and set it to, of course, false. Great. So now let's go to our AI graph where we have our AI functions and we need one thing here. So right click add custom event. Let's call this chase character. And this will just set the chase boolean to true, of course. So this is chasing. Okay, so when we call the function, the chase go to true. So we go to our event graph and now we can take our chasing function right here, just call it. So it asks uh, every time, is the car in AI? Is it true? Then the chase, should it chase the character on true? It called the chasing function that we created and the chasing function will calculate the staring input to go through the to the player. So that's it. So we need the function right now to trigger the fun this chase event. So let's create one. We go back to our map, right click blueprint class. This will be an actor just for example, and this will be the chase trigger. It's just an example to show you can choose whatever you want to trigger the function. And we will just have a box collision, like always. Put this right here, go to the event graph, can delete this one, go to the details. Of course, like every, always, we open the begin overlap function, cost, oh, cost to AI car. This will be the event. And then we just say chase character. So we just call the function when it hits this trigger. So let's go back to the traffic, pull this out. It's just a little collision box. Let's put it right in the way, the lane of the car where we'll, it will be driving like this. So let's see if it's working. So we drive forward, hold here to see if it's following us, and it does. So wherever we drive, it try to follow us. So let's drive away so that we get the distance from 100 meter. like that. And when we now drive back, yeah, it don't follow us anymore. So it continued to calculate his path. As you can see. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.